convert the point three comma three pi divided by two comma five pi divided by six, which is given in spherical coordinates, to Cartesian coordinates or rectangular coordinates. So our goal here is to find the coordinates x comma y comma z, given that we know rho equals three, theta equals three pi divided by two, and phi equals five pi divided by six. So to find the Cartesian coordinates, we'll be using the formula that's provided here. So we know x is going to be equal to rho times sine phi times cosine theta, which would be three times sine five pi divided by six times cosine three pi divided by two. And y is going to be equal to rho times sine phi times sine theta, so we'd have three times sine five pi divided by six times sine three pi divided by two. And then finally z is equal to rho times cosine phi, which would be three times cosine five pi divided by six. Now to find these trig function values, we can use a unit circle or use reference triangles. Let's go ahead and sketch these two angles in standard position and sketch the reference triangles. So five pi divided by six, which is also equal to 150 degrees, would have the initial side here, and the terminal side would be approximately here, giving a reference angle of pi divided by six radians, or 30 degrees. So this would be the reference triangle, with again a reference angle of 30 degrees, or pi divided by six radians. So we can label the three sides one, two, square root three, where the short leg is one, the hypotenuse is two, and the long leg is square root three. But because we're in the second quadrant, where x is negative, this would be negative square root three. Again, this is the reference triangle for five pi divided by six radians. And then for three pi divided by two, we actually cannot sketch a reference triangle. The initial side would be here, the terminal side would be here along the negative y-axis. But if we select a point on the terminal side, let's say this point here, and assume it's on the unit circle, it would have coordinates zero comma negative one, where we know x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. So we can use this point here to determine the trig function values for the angle three pi divided by two. And we'll also verify these on the unit circle once we finish. So for x, we have x equals three times sine five pi divided by six would be equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which would be one half, times cosine three pi divided by two would be equal to the x coordinate of this point on the unit circle, which is zero. So x is equal to zero. For y, we have three times sine five pi divided by six, which we know is one half times sine three pi divided by two, which would be equal to the y coordinate on the unit circle, which is negative one. So y is equal to negative three halves. And then for z, we have three times cosine five pi divided by six, which would be three times the ratio of the adjacent side of the hypotenuse, which would be negative square root three divided by two. So we have z equals negative three square root three divided by two. So the Cartesian coordinates are zero comma negative three halves comma negative three square root three divided by two. And again, let's go ahead and just verify our trig function values on the unit circle. Well, here's five pi divided by six, and here's three pi divided by two, where the x coordinates give us the cosine function values, and the y coordinates give us the sine function values which does verify we find our trig function values correctly. I hope you found this helpful.